Good day, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about Exire Photo 2023, which is what's called a Digital Asset Manager or DAM. We'll be looking at what it is, what it's useful for, um, and some of the features. And we'll be doing that right after this. Thanks for sticking with me, everyone. So I wanted to talk about a, a really interesting program called Isaiah Photo 2024. And as I said, this is a digital asset manager. So for full transparency, I was provided with a copy of this to do this review, uh, but that doesn't sway my opinion in any way. Uh, all of the typical things apply. So if I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it. They don't get any approval over what's posted and they will see it at the same time as everyone else. But let's talk about what Exire Photo 2024 actually is. So as I said, it's a digital asset manager. It's actually a standalone program which runs um, and basically catalogs all of your images. Now, Lightroom and many other programs have basic catalog functions, but there are a couple of flaws that I typically find with those. One of them is that they require you to tag your photos. So you have to basically go in and say, this is a photo of a bird or two children or whatever else. Whereas Xi Photo is quite different because it actually uses machine learning to analyze the images and work out what they actually are so that it can then basically pre-tag them so that when you want to actually find them later on, you know exactly uh, that you're searching for photos of children and you don't have to worry about did I tag them or not. So that's really what a digital asset manager is about. It's about organizing your photos so it becomes much easier later on to find them. And that can be really uh, important because if you, let's say you change your editing style, then you may need to come back and say, oh, hey, I really want to edit those photos of lions that I took. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I can't remember often when I take photos. So then how do I know when I actually took that? Now, if I've tagged it as a lion, fantastic, but often I haven't. So then do I just search through folder by folder? If I've only taken 100 photos, that may not be a problem. But if I've taken thousands or tens of thousands, it becomes a much bigger issue. And that's where something like Exire Photo actually becomes really useful. It's really about AI-powered organization and harnessing the capabilities of AI and machine learning to actually help streamline the process of organizing your photos. So let's have a look at some of the various functions. Now, I've put uh, about 155 photos in, and for clarity, this took about six, seven minutes on my MacBook. These vary from raw photos to TIFFs and some JPEGs, but the fair majority are raw or TIFF images. Now, there were keywords on these photos. That's basically just what was there initially. Um, I haven't added anything specifically. So some of the useful functions of Exire Photo is this um, XPROMPT AI. And what XPROMPT AI allows you to do is find a photo by text prompt. So I might want to do something simple like search for birds. So I search for that and of course I get photos of birds. Now this is not surprising. There are probably some tags in some of these photos that I put in anyway that were birds but it has identified that there are birds in these photos. So what if we try something a bit harder? So not landscape. You can see it's found these photos that are all night landscapes pretty quickly and easily. But again, it's quite possible that some of these photos actually have night landscape keywords in them. So, you know, maybe that's not the best search function. Let's try something different. Uh, kids in or autumn leaves. So when I search for this one, I've got this one here, 
which you can see there's those sort of autumn leaves behind my daughter in this case. And you can see the keywords, child, close up. These are all keywords that Exire has found and it's saying it's very likely to be a child. That 0.98 is the percentage probability. Uh, eyes are open, female, front face, one face, smile, and Mackenzie is what I added in there. So you can see the Exire is really handy because you don't have to start to remember, oh, what were the keywords? I can start to say now, let's look for children in autumn leaves or something else. Now, I don't have to just search by that text. I could also search by something like faces. So I could say, oh, I want photos that have got two faces in them and their children. If I go start search, it's now found these photos that have got two kids in them. So this is really handy because you don't have to remember, oh, was this this person or that person? You're just looking for, based on how many faces the photo should contain, the age groups, and then you could search for male or female, or are they smiling, not smiling, and so on. So this is a really useful tool to be able to actually work out, oh, I want to re-edit portrait photos. So I could use this to try and work out uh, all of the portrait photos that I've got without actually worrying about the tags. But it does have a lot of other search functions as well. I could search for duplicates. So maybe I want to cull my library and I want to get rid of all of the duplicates. So we can see here, it's found these images and it's actually saying, well, hey, these are pretty close to each other. I could then start to go through and give these a, you know, a photo rating. Maybe I want to set them as reject. And later on, I could go through and delete those. So that is another really useful tool to be able to remove duplicates because I suspect you're similar to me that our libraries end up being full of duplicate images, which is just a giant pain. Now, there is another cool feature, which is called Aesthetics AI. And what this does is it basically has been trained on a whole heap of photos to give it almost a bit of a, an idea on how aesthetically pleasing that photo actually is. You know, hey, should I keep this photo? Should I delete it? You know, it gives you a little bit of guidance. So I can open up this photo here and you'll see there's an aesthetic score of 67.40. Now, the higher the score, the more aesthetically pleasing this is considering that photo to be. There are a couple of things that I don't like about it though. It is entirely on aesthetics. So if you had a photo that had a really, really interesting story to it, which made it an incredible photo, but it wasn't aesthetically pleasing, this is gonna drop that. It does look at things that are fairly typical though. So if I take one of my Aurora photos, so if I open this one here, it's saying this has got an aesthetic score of 85.19. And then if I look at these ones, this is 84.57 and 83. So, you know, the really colorful ones, it's gonna give a higher score. Uh, the more dull ones, the score will go down accordingly. Um, but it is still a useful tool. Maybe you want to sort photos you should include in a competition or something like that. And that's where that aesthetics is actually really helpful. Now, this has just really been touching the surface of Exire Photo AI. It is a standalone asset manager, so it doesn't do photo editing. So I can go into a photo, but I can't actually edit it. Now I can right click um, and then I could go into, um, I could export a photo or I could open with one of my other photo editors. So in this case, maybe Luminar Neo or something else, I could actually open this photo and edit. But the function of this is really about organizing your photos specifically. I hope this has been useful in terms of the software. You can do collections and all of these other pretty typical things to drag them in and, you know, create all of your Aurora photos. So I could do the same sorts of things 
and start to create a collection of Aurora photos. Yeah, I, I do think this is quite a useful tool. The downside I would say to this is that it is a standalone program. So if you use Lightroom or something like that, then you're in effect duplicating the process. Now, there is Exire Search, which is a plugin that adds into Lightroom that replicates a lot of this functionality. At the time of releasing this video though, the version doesn't contain a lot of this AI. Um, I suspect that will change over time, but really for those that are actually looking at editing, um, organizing their photos, I think this is a useful tool. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would if people aren't using Lightroom or if they find that Lightroom doesn't have the functionality that they're after. I think this is a really useful tool. I think if you are using Lightroom pretty often, then you might do better to have a look at Exire Search or wait until some of the functionality, the AI functionality that's in Exire Photo, all of those things actually come out. If you found this useful, if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.